Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing off how you can use the Trigger Happy module to create stairs and portals in Foundry VTT. In this video I'll be using the Trigger Happy module and also dynamic effects and the furnace. To get started, the first thing you need to do is, as always, make sure you have a folder or a journal entry titled Trigger Happy. And if you don't like the name, you can change it in the default module settings. I have a folder here with all my triggers inside of it. After that, the next step, go to the compendium. And in the companion, we're looking for our macros, and we need to go down to Sample Macros, Macro Dynamic Effects. Where we see Teleport to Token, you want to import this entry here. Cool. Once you are done with that, you can go ahead and create a new macro. And you're going to have inside the macro something that looks like this. I'll put this down in the description below as well, because we'll be using this. You can change the name. Um, whatever name you have, just make sure you are aware of it for later use. Mine is Teleport 2. You could have it be um, something like just Teleport if you want as well. Anything's fine. And then just press Save Macro and you can move on from there. After you're finished with that, you need to set up your scene how you'd like. The way you set up your scene, as a quick reminder, is to create different tokens. My tokens are not very creatively named. I have Portal, Portal 1, and then portal 2, portal 3, portal 4, and then portal 5 is actually on a different map. Um, because this can be used to go from scene to scene. It can be used to move across one scene or to transition to a different scene entirely. So with Trigger Happy, as always, please make sure your tokens are uniquely named. Because if I had a token named portal 1 on a different scene, my character would move to that portal rather than this one. So always make sure that they are uniquely named. Cool, let's take a look at what triggers I have in place so I can break it down and talk about what I did. So the first thing I have is at token portal. That is this portal right here, the one that the character is currently standing next to. So I have at token portal, at trigger, capture move. So when my character moves onto it, they will be captured and it is triggered by them moving onto it rather than uh, them clicking it or interacting with another way. And then we have at chat message bracket slash teleport to portal one zero zero. So to break this down a little bit, we have r slash teleport to. What that is, is referencing this macro that we just made. We have portal one, that's going to the token over here. And we have zero zero. That means that the token is going to appear right on top of the new token. So let me let me say that again. The character, when the character moves, they're going to move onto this token, which will trigger the teleport happening, and they will teleport right on top of portal one. You could change this to have them appear if you wanted to, you know, one, one, two, two. Play around with it a little bit, see how it works for you. So let's see how this works. So I'm gonna start off here and I'm going to move down. Oh, I will try that one more time. Let me deselect and select again. Okay, try, try again, moving on. And as I can see, I moved onto the token and I teleported. So this next one is going to do the same thing. Let's take another look at the triggers. This one is just going to move from portal one to portal two. So we can see I can use this to jump around the map. So I have portals here, but I could do the same thing for stairs or teleportation circles, whatever you want to do. So I'm jumping all around the map until I get to this point. This last one I have set up so that it's going to actually transition me to a different scene. And as you can see, I have a line here. I have magical portals at trigger preload vampire manor. So what this did was, when the scene was loaded, it triggered a preload of a different scene. Why would I want to do this? Well, um, if you have a transition from scene to scene, especially from stairs, you don't want to spend too long loading in the new map. So you can have it set up so that when a player is on one scene, you already are loading up the next one. So like level one is loaded is here, which would trigger loading level two. So we have our last one at token portal five at chat message or sorry at trigger capture move at chat message slash teleport to portal five 
and Portal 5 is not on this map. Portal 5 is not on a different map, so let's see what happens. So I move off the token and back on, and we load in, and it loaded in a little bit slow for me because unfortunately my connection is probably not the best, but it's still loaded in all the same. Cool. And we can see here I am now on the new map. All right, I hope that's helped this again. You can use the same strategy for creating stairs, for creating teleportation circles, basically lots of things. And you can play around with it too and play, add in other features as well, maybe adding in audio effects and stuff like that. I will be doing another video solely based on traps, but if you have any questions on this, please put them down in the comments below. I'm happy to help. Thanks everyone.